Thank <laughs> you. 
I very much good morning. I am sorry for not waiting for around um, 10 to 15 minutes for some time. Minutes for some. So uh, I am Vishal. I am head of operations of Excel India, Junior College School. So uh, regarding me, let us start with you. Uh, I am a senior mathematics lecturer for IDJ. I have been teaching IDJ for a long time, for 29 years now. Regarding my journey, uh, I started with like, yeah. India and I done my like my graduation and graduation I think as possible. I am an IIT So uh, after that, we came with teaching as a profession. So when we talk about excellentia across all the branches, just to tell because you might be thinking we had a population and a company's teacher, or all the ones that are pretty teachers. That one major difference you find that none of the every people you find in the groups on my left, on my right, we all are teachers. We all are teachers, right? To uh, start up with excellentia, the basic how it is. Uh, So we we'll first we talk about the founders. Our founders are Mr. David Kulinti, he might be joining us in the members. And uh, Mr. Haru, I believe, as well as Mr. Baker and Mr. Haru both are in our members of the entire extension group. We have seven centers across the East Kalina Radio Center in Kodak Mandal, along with Shana 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 Shana. Total seven centers plus one day we have. For all the seven, they are the directors. And for your information, so, he is a champion here in So, again, he is a teacher. So, if anything you feel that there is a difference in the delivery, in the talking, in interaction with the parent, in talking to the student, they are connecting to the student more, that might be only one reason because they are not teachers. Nobody is going to be able to that. Maybe teachers will get used to it. So, I like Mr. Rizal first, and then Mr. I talked about Mr. Baker. I know this teacher almost uh, 26 years in the education center. To name one, he worked with our top branch of the top branch. He really worked there for 26 years in the beginning, 98. And then he came back to Andhra Pradesh, sorry, at the time of Andhra Pradesh. So he has done that. And with one basic hope, he started. Because he saw many flaws in the current many flaws. The flaws, one kind of flaw I tell you, which is concentrating on your knowledge. The moment you go inside the campus, the first time will be ranks. But there might be a writer sitting inside the campus. He might not be able to do mathematics, physics, or chemistry. Then. So, basically, yes, they have two sciences, not that they are. They should keep that knowledge. So, as a teacher, Whatever we all felt were there, were lost inside the excellent system. 
they thought that that we will be taking care when they leave. So in such a way that it is different than. So establishing here in 2050 and excellence everywhere is what our caption is. Right? They promise that not even a single student will be left behind. Maybe academically they are weak, maybe emotionally they are weak, maybe. Uh, see, you may find a student who is getting 98 by 100, still sad. You might be getting a student who is getting 75 by 100, still happy. As a teacher, we understand that because students don't find the student to be blind. Parent or teacher want him to find the student. Students find it themselves. They want to better themselves each and every day. Today, whatever I'm scoring, my score should be slightly more. That's what they want. So yesterday, I got a 75 or 100. Now I'm 76. I can tell that say I got something. But uh, obvious, some of the people, maybe teachers, they say you 75 is 98. Why are not scoring? Right? Student compete with student. Student don't compete with. Student compete with themselves. Parent, teachers, society compete with themselves. With that particular hope that every student is different and no student is left behind. Wherever they are strong, they should be strong. Wherever they are weak, we should make sure that in that weak area, they should not fall. They should slide. If they can become strong, well, at least that should not be a weak point that nobody should uh, hit that ability. Nobody should hit. So, uh, <coughs> so this was the next one. Uh, along with me, I have Mr. Jaira. Mr. Jaira is the principal of school as well as senior center of educational campus. <coughs> Jairaj comes from a diverse man. Almost 24 years of experience in Canada. He worked in various top-notch branded international schools and companies. Right? And uh, he has experience both in CDC and in IP and in IDJ. He himself is an IT man. So again, I'm telling you, everybody in the And then along with me, I have given next slide. So I am a staff at the campus. So uh, he is an IT party at my and experience we talk about one of the top corporate colleges, which is there as a brand in IT. He was there. He himself is from IT, so he knows what the answers or what the problems that he has to face when he actually goes through. What is the pressure? He's from IT. He knows the pressure. So Mr. I am the center basket. Very simply comes up. Right? And he is a top class credit player. So, the, so like the punishment of any student uh, can be even to make him out when he is playing. It can range from uh, facing six balls that he is going to the student and asking him to get out. If you get out, you do this. So, that is the way the punishment should be. He has sports as well as a player has sports in this point. So, what I do, I will ask Mr. Ayurvish to come because academic wise, I would like to choose the year from Ayurvish because day to day, if your child joins here or, or a child joins here, we will be talking either to Ayurvish or Mr. Ayurvish. Right? But whether they are doing the homework well or their homeworks are being checked or not, why they are scoring less marks, what is happening to them, these are the problems we usually get whenever the child joins. Right? So, Ayurvish, uh, the question is Yeah, good morning all the way. Maybe I don't have. I may not be using the mic. Hope I'm audible to the last day. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you all, all the parents. So, thanks for your time. I know it's a valuable time for you and for your kid. And the process, like, you know, the, the choosing the right college for your you know, kid. Intermediate, two years of intermediate, you come to the right college. That goes over a few, spend just a time.
I'll make sure and my team will make sure that we will we'll be finding the very valuable points. Compulsory ka make tell you the points but no compulsory ka we check that one. I mean compulsory ka at the end of the session you'll see you learned something or you got few points which are very useful for your kid to you know for his two or uh, two years of education. That's very important and I take you to the session like you know the major question before I get into this one I just wanted to share because. As a faculty, the most important thing is that you know, faculty or rather the best thing you know to that day of student your success is always the one thing that we always enjoy. That's my personal experience. So yesterday night, one of my student, like six years back, she was my student, Amulya. I remember her name, and she after 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 her intermediate, she came she came and met me almost two three times. But yesterday night she called and she told me, sir, I joined in Amazon, and thank you so much for your blessing. And you know the why particularly I'm talking about this particular girl is that she is a let me not you know hide the things or anything. Let me be very realistic. Ye in jayi tada jeptaran. She is a very 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 uh, you know less confident student, almost a zero confidence. Like even if I explain, I have taken a very special very special attention for almost a group of ten students. Our 10 students know EMI. If for a question, just now, sir, a particular concept or a particular subject or any concepts that they are going to learn, they are not How do you expect me to do? Because I can't remember the form. I can't apply. It's a very difficult task because I started late, and that is the reason I am way behind in terms of the competition. So what what is that you are expecting me to do? I just told her one thing. See, as a human being, as a person, to try to achieve the maximum result, the end result cannot be in your in your hand. Even if you are performing extremely well now, on the day of the exam, if ideas are not coming to your mind for a given question, no, you 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 can't you can't score or you can't be in the top. So as a human being, you just keep learning the things. Trying is the only thing which is in your hand, and end at the end at the end result is taken care by the is supporting the whatever you call maybe God or whatever it is. But as a human being, you keep trying, and that's what she did. And yesterday at night, almost at eight thirty or eight forty-five, I got a call saying that sir, I'm going to join in Amazon. And she worked in a few organizations. That's fine. But if, you know, her mother is literally crying. The way to get this kind of you know the teachers, the student who is a well behind, you have taken each and every care, and she is in Amazon now. And I told her, see, as a teacher, the best thing that we can find is the moment you told, "Mom, I Amazon will join in and support you." The kind of The satisfaction of the feel that I got was priceless. That you know, not only for me, that every teacher who is sitting here, they are having their own experiences. They they are having their own you know success stories of dealing with such such kids. And let me tell you now. Let me take you to the session. Like you know, how the day is in Asia and how different we are. All these points I try to take in, and I try to cover as many points as I can. As I can. Like the common question, see, there are many colleges across Hyderabad. In Hyderabad, so what is that you are doing special, or what is that you are different in? How differently you are doing the things, and how are they giving the results, or what kind of results you are getting through that? So I'll start the session with like you know how the day in excellence for a student in his two years. So well, uh, they'll start the day with early morning. Uh, you know, they wake up call at five uh, thirty. Once the five thirty, they'll get the wake up call. But in the morning, five thirty, clear for that. I'm trying to mix both English and uh, Telugu. Mostly, I use Telugu only because most of the parents might be knowing Telugu. That is the exception that I'm doing. Right. So, one morning, morning five thirty, clear for that. First thing they do is that they'll go for yoga. Couple of yoga session today. Last one week, which one of yoga ki we will force change it later because chali ko gaun na jeevan. A yoga session, I go gaye. Next day, they'll come back to their hostel rooms. Well, fresh water and the fresh air breakfast will be there. Breakfast in that hour, their classes will start. First year's ki eight o'clock start hota hai. Eight o'clock start hai in that hour. Morning three classes will hota hai. Maths and physics and chemistry. These three classes, no senior faculty, every other teachers na ro. Our three subjects, maths and physics and chemistry. Evening ko chesi. Same faculty matra. Abey three subjects ki same faculty is called not any other faculty. This is a very very key point for us, and a very we are very particular about this point. 
not like these three faculties those who have taken classes in the morning can go and take the classes in other sections and the faculty who is free are very like you know assistant faculty or someone we go and engage the students no exactly not that absolutely no those who have taken the session in the morning three faculties like math and physics and chemistry we take the session work session so called by the same faculty to help the student in a better like you know morning when you taught sir the concept was not clear to me or i am not able to do many questions so can you just help me for more questions or can you repeat the concept or can i come to you to explain the same concept in a very you know less time and a very very detailed manner or can you give me the gist of the topic so that is what is going to happen in the work session and let me tell you again the same faculty will take the session so after that that is a morning session three working uh, three teaching classes followed by evening they'll be taking the the work sessions once the work sessions are over then the faculty will leave and the students will be having the sports session once the sports session sports session almost one and a half hour they'll be getting one and a half hour they'll be having their snacks and they'll go to the ground they'll play and you know the kids are very very energetic in the ground that let me not tell you you all might have gone through that yourself also and the kid will be very energetic so all the you know the kind of pressure whatever he has taken from morning to till 4:40 that pressure or whatever it is he can get relaxed and he'll come back and he'll take the bath and he'll come back to the class the evening classes again will start from 6:30 6 o'clock 6:15 to 6:30 so the exact time will be given to them once they start the classes evening work sessions again we mean to say that is in the absence of senior lecture at a senior lecture sooner supporting faculty so once the supporting faculty are trying to help them i think ikkada ochina point add chestanu nenu i think ee corona valla enta loss ayyadu student anedi as a parent meeku telusu as a parent as a student valaki telusu and let me tell you my personal experience it's we are hardly finding any kind of you call it as discipline or whatever we are trying to find any kind of discipline the best example ishwaran sir and me are standing in the temple saraswati temple and we are talking to the school kids i got also the students were literally four students were sitting sir and going and asking them beta what happened what is like what happened you tell them to wait just the students were not standing even they are literally sitting and one student uh, and basically get that the online education wala one basic things kuda much parents cheptaru it's not that they don't know it is that they forgot in this process that is a one small example that i mean to say in the classroom let me tell you the presence of mind was you know literally we have to call the name you know each and every student with a name literally if there is a student let's say anadi anadi can you please answer this question then he suddenly comes back yes sir what is that you are asking so that is the you know big difference that we are trying to find in the class so that is the reason what we did was we requested our faculty to extend their timings keeping the mind ee corona valla valla entha idu loss ayaro only malli we have to bring in the back the normal situation and you know we need to push them forward that is very important one bunch of encourage chesi koncham you know try track lo teesukodaniki we requested our faculty to extend their timings let me tell you with the great mindset of great a uh, vision or whatever it is great help they are staying up to 8 o'clock they are supposed to leave by 4 o'clock and they are staying up to 8 o'clock and they are helping each and every kid whatever the doubts that they have so obviously the senior lecturer kind of whatever the word that he speak student will take it very positively so that is the reason he requested them to stay back and they are staying up to 8 o'clock and the students are getting benefited by that so well so evening work session generally the senior faculty will not be there and then the supporting faculty will be there and will be giving it's not like you sit and work no will be defining the work e roju we need 10 questions chain on mathematics to and physics to 10 and chemistry to 10 like sir e 10 questions chain up to what is that i have to do take the question and try and take the question and try keep doing that how many ever i get it's okay and then rest you leave it no first a sheet ichin tarvata meer questions ani sabha man cheptam the most problematic thing is that pillar of first question to try to solve it and try yes not that is the biggest problem that the student is facing even in je mains what is the problem in that sir let me tell you suppose je mains the first question is very difficult question chadalukunna 
and if he is trying to solve that question only, he will be losing the contents, he will be losing the time, and the both pressure will be you know building. So that is the reason when we give this ten questions, we'll ask him to read the questions first. While reading the questions, he may find any of the question is easy. If he is trying the question, maybe the idea that he has got for this particular question, maybe sixth question, that might help to solve the first question. More important, he will gain more momentum. More momentum, more you know, he feel more confident. A ten questions are enough to maybe two questions or three questions chase at a point. That will give it an edge, compulsory confidence in terms of the confidence, in terms of getting the ideas for the remaining questions. All day, day day one day one day. रेस्टोरेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंट
sir we did all advantage and sir all different kind of competitive exams will be covered in that process sir you are conducting only advanced and mc mains and bits at how about the deemed universities like srf vit and you know amruta all these colleges let me tell you guys e process lo mana je mains edaithe preparation fill out chestunnamo aa process lo the entire syllabus will be covered for all the competitive exams మీకు ఏవైతే డిఫరెంట్ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ఉన్నాయో ఆ ఎగ్జామ్స్ కి కావాల్సిన సిలబస్ మొత్తం కవర్ అవుతుంది ప్రాసెస్ కాకపోతే ప్యాటర్న్ డిఫరెంట్ గా ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి మన డిఫరెంట్ ప్యాటర్న్స్ కండక్ట్ చేస్తాం బట్ ఆర్ మెయిన్ టార్గెట్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ టు జేఈ మెయిన్స్ బట్ రిమెంబర్ ద సిలబస్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ది కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ విల్ బి కవర్డ్ ఇన్ దట్ ప్రాసెస్ ఓకే సో వై ఇస్ దట్ యు ఆర్ కండక్టింగ్ ఎన్సిఆర్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఆన్ థర్స్డే సార్ థర్స్డే ఈవినింగ్ ద రీజన్ బిహైండ్ కండక్టింగ్ ఎన్సిఆర్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఇస్ దట్ మీకు ఎప్పుడైతే జేఈ మెయిన్స్ రాస్తారో జేఈ మెయిన్స్ లో ఎన్సిఆర్ ఇన్టెక్స్ క్వశ్చన్స్ కంపల్సరీ వస్తాయండి స్ట్రైట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ నాట్ మిస్ దట్ పార్ట్ అందుకోసం అని చెప్పి ఆ ఇన్టెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అని తీసుకొని మన ఎన్సిఆర్ ఎగ్జామ్ పెడతాం సో దట్ ద స్టూడెంట్ విల్ గెట్ గ్రిప్ ఓవర్ దట్ సో దట్ ఈ విల్ నాట్ మిస్ దోస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇఫ్ దే కమ్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఫ్రమ్ ద టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ పేపర్ అయితే ఎగ్జామ్ లో తనకి ఐడియాస్ కానివి ఎగ్జామ్ తర్వాత ఐడియాస్ వచ్చే ఛాన్సెస్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటాయండి అందుకోసం అని ఈవినింగ్ కూర్చొని ఆ ఐడియాస్ మొత్తం ఏ క్వశ్చన్ అయితే ఐడియా రాలేదు ఎందుకు రాలేదు ఎక్కడ ఎక్కడ ఐ వెంట్ రాంగ్ రాంగ్ ఫామ్ లో అప్లై చేశాను రాంగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ అప్లై చేశాను అసలు కంప్లీట్ గా క్యాలిక్యులేషన్ మిస్టేక్ చేశాను లేకపోతే ఆన్సర్ టూ వస్తే ఆప్షన్ టూ మార్క్ చేశాను ఇలాంటి కేటగిరీస్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ మిస్టేక్స్ ఉంటాయండి వాటి అన్నిటిని కేటగిరైజ్ చేసి ఒక బుక్ ఇస్తాం స్టూడెంట్ ఆ బుక్ లో ఫస్ట్ పేజ్ లో మెన్షన్ చేస్తాం టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ మిస్టేక్స్ దట్ ఎ స్టూడెంట్ కెన్ డూ ఇన్ ఎగ్జామ్ అయితే స్టూడెంట్ ఐడెంటిఫై చేస్తాడు ఈ క్వశ్చన్ ఈ మిస్టేక్ చేశాను ఈ క్వశ్చన్ ఈ మిస్టేక్ చేశాను సార్ ఈ క్వశ్చన్ ఎలా చేయాల్సిన తెలియదు తెలియదు వాట్స్ నైట్ డూ డోంట్ వరీ మండే మార్నింగ్ ద ఫస్ట్ క్లాస్ విల్ బి పేపర్ క్లారిఫై డౌట్స్ క్లారిఫై చేసి ది ఎంటైర్ పేపర్ విల్ బి ఎక్స్ప్లెయినింగ్ టు ద స్టూడెంట్స్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ద డౌట్స్ దట్ ఇస్ దే హ్యావ్ విల్ బి క్లారిఫై ఆల్ దే డౌట్స్ దాని తర్వాత నౌ ద వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫేజ్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ విల్ స్టార్ట్ జనరల్ గా మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ దిస్ పాయింట్ వెరీ సీరియస్లీ వై ఆమ్ ఐ వెరీ పర్టికులర్ ఎందుకంటే పర్టికులర్ గా చెప్తున్నారు ఈ పాయింట్ అంటే దిస్ ఇస్ ద యూనిక్ పాయింట్ అట్ యూ క్యాన్ నెవర్ సి యూ కాన్ సి ఎనీ వెర్ అక్రాస్ ఇన్ హైదరాబాద్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ఏమైతే ఎగ్జామ్ లో మిస్టేక్స్ చేశారో and different type of mistakes and both the print chase system our mistakes ki manam exam lo ek paper explain chesina tarvata student our mistakes both the book book dekha raya din em antam ante error analysis and error analysis ee error analysis wala problem and what is the advantage that the student is going to get first thing evaithe mistakes chesadu aa mistakes ani tanu nerchukuntadu first because of ee reason ee mistake chesaru ani telustundi and second thing ee question ki idea raledu so how are you trying to generate the idea aa concept meda kavalante ikka two three questions tan practice chesukochu so that next exam it will not face the same problem exam compulsory accumulate undi present week portion lo ekku questions ostayi previous week week portion exams aa syllabus kuda cover avutundi so kabatti aa concept meda malli portion vache chance undi next week lo kuda kabatti next exam ki elle mundu oka 5 minutes last exam lo nenu em em mistakes chesano once if we can refer that error analysis book is that for i think e process lo can you make the things little better yes what is that you are doing generally what happens is if i am not wrong most of you might be doing this small small things a portion of it might be in your schooling also but the better thing that we are trying to do is kind of mistakes we are putting in one paper at the beginning of the book నోట్బుక్ అండ్ దాట్ బుక్ విల్ బి గివెన్ బై ది ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ ఇట్స్ అయితే ఇక్కడ మీరు అన్ని రాస్తారు కాకపోతే ఏంటంటే సొల్యూషన్ ఉంటుంది కదా క్వశ్చన్ బికాస్ యూఆర్ రైటింగ్ ఓన్లీ ద సొల్యూషన్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ అండ్ సొల్యూషన్ అండ్ యూ విల్ బి లూజింగ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫ్యూ డేస్ ఆ నెక్స్ట్ వీక్ యూ మే నాట్ యూ నాట్ యూ మే నాట్ బి ఏబుల్ టు ఫైన్ ద క్
because that is a common thing that we generally see in the classroom. Classroom ke lagane babu ne paper de rana. Us pe wo discuss kiya tha. Sir, paper pe points hai, so perfect list hai. So therefore, what we suggest is you staple the paper in the question in the book itself, so that the question paper and followed by the doubts. So that is one thing. And next thing, regular daily teacher meeting. Compulsory can be what we need to make a regular updation. And if the regular guy under me, a weekly six days college now will send it with a peer appointment to talk to the faculty. To talk to the faculty. Prior appointment to deserve take me most to now. The appointment is only compulsory. Only family in the world. Nobody says no. No in that process. At this point, this process you can't see anywhere. If I'm not wrong, if you have an experience in other colleges, you have to stand at the gate and you have to call your parent. Uh, you have to call your kid. So here, nothing of that sort. But of course, because of the COVID, rules are little. They are trying to follow few measures and safety measures. But yet, he will be allowing the parent to meet the teacher or the center head with a prior appointment. That is always there. And the next thing that you can see, regular observation the parents. Like you know, students ki uh, parents ki dete me wo message forward chest tamo exam result ko dekhi. Not only parents and the students see those amde one or two people online or not regular ka wala WhatsApp questions par kam bichao. We will be clarifying their doubts maybe through Zoom session or maybe writing on a paper solution and then posting them back or maybe an idea. So that interaction or that updation about the student will always be there or that more regular updation will be there. And error analysis, as I just told you, like exam, what are the mistakes that they have done? Yes, those will be. And homework analytics, I just explained in the evening session, we'll be giving 10 questions per subject. And that will be explained in the immediate next class if they are not getting any of the idea. E-process though, evening time, I myself will be available up to 8 o'clock or 8.30, I'll be available. And I'll be going to the each and every class, I'll be asking the student, have you done or not? The checking process will always happen. The checking process will always happen. I'll be randomly going to the student and I'll be asking, did you write the error analysis with the right? Yes. Can you show me once? Yes. You have got these many marks, but you have written only these many questions. If you have written only four questions, which means remaining mathematics by 25 questions over. So if you have written only four, but you didn't get 84, please make sure that you are next time on. So such class checking process will always be there. I myself will be going to the classes and will be checking and more importantly, my teachers will take that step forward. They'll take the initiation of class checking that and helping the student. Can we have the next slide? Yes. Like how many questions he attempted, how many of them are correct and how many of them are wrong. Wrong is the one thing that we have to understand. That is the reason why the many students are not able to clear the aim. Why any questions I can give? The correct idea is wrong idea. The analysis motto, the highest and then the lowest and then the average scores of this particular subject ka average every. Even after the classes, they may not be able to get to the root of the concept. For them, we'll be arranging the and 
motivation session by eminent person like endamur vijayananda garu and social like you know so called persons so famous persons evaraithe students ni baaga influence cheyagalaro ante motivate cheyagalaro vallandanni pilichi vallu sessions conduct cheyadam jarugutundi so that facility is always there physics are matter at the end of the night exam will attend cheyali will attend this type of course and the art of writing the exam is this suppose you know physics are matter at chemistry sir and then
and that objective should be definitely accomplished. If I want to be a parent, I'm a parent like you. If I'm sitting in your place, I'll just I'll definitely be a parent. Who are these people behind excellence? What is their objective? Why should I choose excellence? Or why should you attend this session? Because the people running the day-to-day -day activities, the people established, always think these are the key people who will strive every minute to reach the objective. So as a parent and a child, each one of you have definitely the right or you should have that kind of inclusiveness about us. It may be for this session or for any long term commitment. The same thing. This question was asked. We, we asked ourselves in 2014. In 2014, this question was asked what was the need for one more college? Why should we take the risk? Maybe financial risk or whatever it is. What was the need? So this question was asked. We asked ourselves. As a teacher myself, as a parent, as a teacher for 25 years, and as a parent, definitely there are certain gaps, there are certain lapses in the digital system. I could, I could, no, observe that. So obviously, a parent in me and a teacher in me is a deadly combination. Both are deadly combination. So we started working towards what are the gaps? What exactly children need? How much parents know about their children? How much they don't know? What is the awareness? How do we want to fix these problems? So can we do or not? Do we have all the strength? Financial, emotional, time, and the team to have all this? Can we make it? Yes, the answer was yes. And today, this is what excellent share. We are done, we have completed six years. Seventh year, we are going to start. We started seventh year, in fact. The main branch in 2015, we started in uh, on, uh, June 14, Tower Bay campus, the one on campus, followed by expansion in other places like Madhapur, Chitra, ECIL, Ilbi Nagar, Madina Buddha, and this year we are starting in Copa Bay. The process, three years back, we started and you know, the CBC school of international standards. Of course, our definition for international standards are different. So again, you can question us. What are the problems? What is the amount of awareness among the parents? And how are we trying to fix? Were we successful? Were we successful? To what extent? And how are we changing? How are, how are we treating the obstacles as learning process? And how are we delivering commitments and promises made? And most importantly, the transparency and accountability that is lacking in every service sector. So how did we strive or how are we striving in fact every minute to, to bring accountability and transparency. I will I'll, I'll brief from my end. The question is if I ask you a simple question parents like everyone is parent here, your parent what must be what must be the requirement
my trait or quality or behavior in a child to be successful? What a child should have to be successful? What kind of environment a child should be provided? What kind of environment a child to be provided? What kind of support a child to be given? As a parent, as a teacher, it is our responsibility to really know this and ensure we are implementing this in the So I ask you the same question. I ask myself, I am asking you also. How should we bring up the child? Very tough question in fact. There is no, no, a few nights of few, uh, no, few points by which we can bring up the child. Rather, let me put the question more simple. What must be a child have in him? Such that he will definitely be successful. I mean, success has different meanings, taken from person to person. So what kind of environment shall we provide? What kind of mindset a child should have? What kind of support he should have? I, I request parents, please come out. Children, please come out. It is nothing to value anybody. It's just a discussion. Because from there, we have started our journey. We want to explain that what is that to be doing. So now, everybody is basing up towards competition. Yes, or unless everybody is basing up the competition. We ask, we generally ask children, what do you want to do? Why you are choosing MPC or YPC or MPC, whatever, of the next standard? A standard answer great career, great social status, life is set, making parents, I want to make parents proud. My cousin is prospering very well. I know my elder brother is an IIT, I is a medical. Some kind of inspiration, some kind of motivation, some kind of drive they have always. The question is, when you are basing up with the competition, for example, the competition, what is that? How do we support a child? How do we support a child? At home? Or if you are putting in a hostel, what kind of environment shall we provide? And what are the things, you know, these are things, in fact. So, anyone from your side, when, if, if we are putting our children in, in this competitive segment, how does, under what conditions, under what environment does this child be able to cope up, be able to succeed, be able to at least achieve something nearer to what he needs? What he wants. This. So, under what state of mind a child can perform? Is a simpler question. Under what state of mind? What state of mind? We say competition. We say competition. A race. Race. Race is. Simply, you know, we are competing against somebody. We are competing against 10 members in the class, or 50 members in the class, or some thousand members in the campus. That is competition. So, you know, we always try to see how much better I can do, how much better I can do than the second ranker or third ranker or that's it. In the process, what we are forgetting, what we are ignoring is the so called very common term you hear is potential. The potential of a child. When we are competing against somebody, it is always we are compromising against the potential of the child. The child has this much potential. The system, education system, the 
parents, teachers, environment should be so conductive so that we should push the child towards his potential. Keep on hearing this very standard phrase. However, if we are enabling the child to compete against somebody, it is just something more, something more. If your classmate or your benchmate is getting 90 percentile percentage, for example, you may try to get something more than 90 percentage. It may be 94, 95, whatever, very close. If someone is getting 85, you must try to get something more percentage. That's it. In the process, we are always chasing, chasing, and chasing. This is the biggest drawback the present education system has. So instead of chasing and trying to perform little better than the other, and be the race. How should an education institute, a college, school, parents, teachers support a child such that he should be ready to face every failure, he should be ready to take, take up any task, bigger task rather, what kind of support he should get on the clock such that he will be changing himself. That state of mind is required. That mindset is required. So we question ourselves: How do we, how do we enable children to reach this kind of mindset? The two years span which we have, 15, 16 years they are brought up at home, in college, school, and all. Two years span. First few months only we have time. So how do we? Bring them, take the children to that kind of mindset. No doubt, excellence also carries to all the competitive examinations as a part of the curriculum and need. But as a teachers, we can do much more than pushing the children only for these two years and to crack any of these entrance examinations. Our bigger goal is not just that. How do we prepare children as much as possible to take up the challenges, to adapt to changing, fast changing systems, to adapt to work culture, to adapt to the society, to adapt to new challenges? So some, these are things which are needed for a child. So coming back, what kind of mindset is required as a children? That kind of mindset is required where the system should improve the performance of the child day by day. The system should increase the confidence in the child. The child should embrace the failures. He should be excited to fail. He should be excited to take up the hard tasks, tough tasks. He should come out of his, you know, so called, you know, being in a shell. These are the things we have behind our mind. In our mind. What is that we have been doing? As I told you, a child can perform better when, if he is, he, if he can know how to handle the pressure. A child can perform. In a joyous mood, child should be joyful always. A child can perform if he has confidence that there is somebody in the campus, somebody in the school, somebody at home who is always guiding them whenever there is a problem, and is always there who is making me to succeed whenever I'm failing and supporting me emotionally. So we have to pay every child, we have to handhold every child from step to step, step to step, failure to failure, failure to failure. This kind of you know, system or behavior 
or weak people will make the child definitely more successful. You will take up the challenges in this you know, if you can strive for any conditions. So that mindset is important. Always chasing, fighting for the mass, putting pressure, comparison, fear of it, and too much planning about future, too much thinking about social status. And many times parents think that no, you have to succeed this, you have to achieve this. Otherwise, how do I show my face? Look at your cousin, look at your relatives. These are things. These are negative, these will create a negative mindset in the child. Every child has, you know, the potential, we know, as a parent, you know, every child has a potential for birth itself. The architecture, the genius, such that every child has a potential. All we are doing is, as parents and teachers, all we are doing is, we have to explore that. We have to create a platform where it can work freely. He should be taught how to handle stress. He should be taught how to take up the challenges. This. This mindset is important. All this is sort of my experience of physical debate. Coming back, so more or less, what is that we are doing? In exponential, what is that we are doing to create this kind of mindset? To ensure every child is taken care. This was the prime objective of establishing excellence. I was working for two and a half decades in this profession. It is easy to establish that kind of factories, institutions, where only certain number of children are getting ranks or performance. And no idea about the others. So, dear parents and children, how this mindset can be established? The first thing is obviously teachers. A great teacher can teach in the class amazingly well. But in exponential, we consider that is only just 10 15 percentage. Teacher can be great, express the concept very well. And you know how to understand it. He entertains you very well, extremely happy about the class, extremely happy about completion of syllabus and all this stuff. But what matters is what kind of support a child should get after the class. <laughs> After the class, what kind of support a child should get? Learning completely happens more or less outside the class, outside the lecture, we strongly believe that. So, what we have done? The first one to introduce double classes, dual classes. The teacher is teaching the classes. Lectures, the same teacher is engaging the children in the so called workstation or study arm. But the first one is ready was in 2015, and this, this concept of practice we, we, we are, you know, continuing every batch, every campus. So what? So what? What different does it make? What different does it mean? When once a child is away from school or a test standard, and when he has attempted some entrance examinations, definitely the kind of preparation can highly change. Don't open the door, please. What parents are not aware, many parents, is the kind of approach required after attempt is entirely different. So that skills which are requiring 11th and 12th are going to help for the, uh, the child forever, life also. 
in a broad perspective, we have established certain processes, certain practices in the college, such that a child can benefit more point one. A child potentially is targeted point two. A child always feels confident that there is always someone who can take care of his emotional and other needs. For example, we just said work session study hours people call it. Study hours is not something you know. The practice which usually we observe is children sit in the class and teacher sits in the chair. They try to work out some questions or read some notes. If they understand fine, otherwise they come to the teacher. That is wrong way. That is not the purpose of study hours or work sessions. If the teacher is taking the lecture, definitely the teacher will get to know the pulse of every child. So our objective in the work session is how to think about a numerical, how to connect the concept with the question, how to commit the mistake, I mean if you commit a mistake, and how to correct it. If teacher is able to think about a numerical and a problem, why not a student can do the same? These are the objectives of work sessions. In the process, definitely great bonding happens between the teacher and the child. And that is where child feel very comfortable to explain his problems anytime. He doesn't hesitate. Point two. So when a child is not performing, we don't have teachers who will make, you know, or who will pull them down. Or we don't have a system which is focusing only on certain sets of children in the class and leaving others. No. The moment the bond is formed with the teacher, every child will feel extremely free to discuss his problems. And we have umpteen cases. With our effort, with our effort, we have made a change in their perception, in their performances in the last six years. So this extra time by a teacher every day, every section, all two years, is was a huge change maker in the performance of the child. In Shamalpay campus, you see, the girls had a beautiful and big campus. Very spacious campus, big classrooms and all. Morning yoga, meditation, and sports every day, great food, great ambience, and more teachers, more supporting classes. Evening study hours are again supported by senior lecturers up to 9 9 30, 10 o'clock. We recently started that. So, obviously, a child. You know, his stress can be handled when he does what he likes. Children definitely like sports. Yes? Anyone who dislikes sports and who says that sports is a waste of time? Children, anyone? Yeah, that's nice. They have, they like good food. And no one hates chicken biryani. Isn't it? So we have that here. And we have student council who will decide the food menu. Food is important. The child will be content when he serves with good food. The child will feel free when the teacher is accessible to him. So these are the few things which makes which make the child to handle the stress differently. Because we have to teach a child when you connect as a problem. When it comes to a failure, there must be somebody who should guide it how to overcome this failure. These are things. So when we are providing this kind of system, obviously, you know, things will change and things are changing in fact. So dear parents, as our motto goes, our we have systems, we have programs who will take care of 
fast paced children who are extremely doing very well by virtue of another thing and obviously children who have high, high potential but they need a platform a teaching platform a teaching platform a supporting platform so our systems are catering to every child and definitely there are few children who are slow learners again we have system where we get the system will take care of the slow learners also right so more or less from 2015 onwards these are the changes and these are learnings which we are implementing to ensure the mindset of the child gets affected on the positive note and he will take up the challenges and he will be free you know from other things also right so anyway i have my team sitting over here the main other objective of this kind of session is we is more or less you know we try to share this program educate and share the knowledge the experience what to have the parents about how to choose the right college how to assess the children how to question the schools and colleges what they promise and they don't deliver how to bring about accountability so these are the things we will like to share in this sessions so the parents i conclude my uh, i conclude now and uh, and the entire my team is waiting over here and at the end of the session i guess we will be having a question and a session q and a all the parents and children please feel free uh, you know to ask for any queries you have and we will be more uh, more than to best answer all right and uh, i can give you five more minutes you can have if any parents have some questions to me in particular yes parents and children to management point of view we have any questions and regular questions we ask always my team members okay five minutes of your space
the child has to really remember his experiences, the gaps. So definitely, the environment should be extremely contemplative, right? There will be great teachers, not just taking the lecture as a tutorial, but the support, right? When the child is down, there will be somebody who should tell him, push him back, send it, sir. And there was a great warning among the children also. And uh, the, the, the social behavior is extremely important. Right? So we, from day one itself, we have put a lot of things in places. Because we are strong believers of feedback system, introspect and change. And I was talking about transparency and all. Right? Our transparency and accountability is to a better extent. Our parents can reach, step ahead, key people in the staff, and the parents can reach me also to email or WhatsApp. Because for every 15 to 20 days, we send a message, uh, message to other parents. If you have any concern and it is not resolved at central level, please reach the management and you'll find a phone number of mine through WhatsApp. <coughs> This is because to ensure to ensure that things are going smoothly at child and parent level. And we are the first ones to encourage all the parents to reach us all six days whenever there is a concern. Whenever there is a concern of any kind which we can do, we can support you. Parents can reach all six days. Monday through Saturday, they can reach us. By prayer appointment, you can come physically to talk on the phone. We want to have the concept of mentorship. Means each of our team members are going to adopt few children throughout the two years. And those children are taken care of emotional, maybe of the uh, academic, maybe non-academic, maybe all these aspects will be taken care by our mentors who in turn they will uh, you know communicate to the head. If you have seen the campus, you can see suggestion boxes, right? Suggestion boxes or new idea boxes. If a child feels something, you can always drop a box. And the drop a left hand, drop a, you know, this query and concerning them. Right? So this is the kind of transparency we want. So if a child is experiencing anything wrong or anything bad, with no time will get to know. And most important fact here is all the branches of essential are done by academicians. We are teachers. We are teachers. Each one of us bring more than 15 years of experience handling thousands of children and their emotions. So obviously, teachers are the best one to always give, give, and give. So this this, this kind of environment we are creating. Yes, business is important, finances is important. But not the expense of commitments made and not the expense of career and dreams. So that's the reason we want this kind of transparency. And we are the first ones to introduce this kind of sessions where parents have to take admission only after talking to the teachers. Parents have to talk to existing children, existing parents. We share the phone numbers of existing parents, previous parents with their permission to you if required. Because parents have to do this kind of homework before taking the admission. This kind of process is you no, know, we are implementing. And this session is basically to educate parents and children to implement this process, plan the admissions and business. So dear uh, parent, so definitely we have put everything in place to ensure the child is always happy and confident because there is all, always teacher, child and the parent. Every school says the same thing, college says the same thing, we are implementing here. We want parents to walk in all the time. We want parents to come to the campus all the time. We want parents to ask their questions. In the process, there are so many things where you like to share about your children with you. So all the three together should work. For the benefit of the child. It's not about blaming or things like that. So, this, this, this is how we are building, sir. So, I'm sure uh, recently, we, you know, every year we have sessions, parties, 
which is part of you know, like we have uh, uh, events, we have a lot of motivation sessions, online, offline, we have speakers coming to the system, the campus, a lot of things we do apart from the regular teaching and other things. Right? So I'm sure uh, from the past uh, six, six, six years of experience, today we have almost 6,000 in all institutional campuses. We have 300 employees. So I have thousands of parents. So obviously, there are so many, every day was an obstacle for us. The format of it. But that obstacle made us learn very fast. And today we are here. And obviously, as a parent, whatever I want, whatever a parent, you know, my team members want, as you know, every parent makes the same thing. So I say same thing, we say same thing. As a parent, what we want is gender safety. Nothing more than that. That would be great. With this kind of philosophy and approach, we work here. And the kind of system what we established and delivery we have done during Corona time also has got a great results and trust among the parents during Corona time. We have supported parents, we have supported children throughout the day. We have done a lot of research, a lot of training we have taken. And we have handled the children through online very successfully without breaking any, uh, I mean, we have to the moral values. So I'm sure definitely parents. Parents are always welcome to us to suggest us, to guide us also, to share experiences, and we invite parents a number of times to be speakers also in the campus. So always you can do that, sir. Right? And definitely uh, sure we have my team members, uh, your child and many children, definitely the child should have a great experience here and to remember for longer time, sir. Right? Have you ever been? You were saying the grandfather thing in Accentia is a huge one with grandfather, as I can see, from the general, particularly concentrating on the same background as the content and all. So, what if the board says there is an online class to be posted? What are your voices? So you are saying that uh, I, 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 you are saying that it is a third way at all. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's the what do you call it? Individual care can be handled very easily uh, when we are doing it all. Can be very challenging. What are you, what is your approach? All right. I, I, I'll share, I'll share what uh, uh extension team extension have done. The last uh, uh, second level thing, right? Before that, WP campus, such a big campus. <laughs> the level of campus to build like SMP buildings and all, and so much, all, almost six acres of sports and all. And a lot of social distance can be maintained the other campuses. And the classrooms are 800 square feet. Easily, we have maintained social distance and run another classes in the month of February when government has allowed to open the schools and colleges. I'm talking about the chances of, you know, infection is less and further can be worked down by the practices what we have. For the entrance, screening, all the stuff. And we do a lot of, you know, like uh, sanitization throughout two, two or three times a day, social distance, masking, all this we have been doing with, you know, after uh, the last few months. So obviously, relatively, Really, social distance can be maintained more, screening of the people coming outside is more. Then a child at home and moving around, malls or you know, things like that, a child is extremely safe in campus, in our campus. That is when a child is in the campus. Now, as a parent, you know, we always have a doubt. What I, what I got to do right now? But coming from the information, the knowledge, if you share, Obviously, it is less intense, spreads more, death rate is almost zero. It is just for one and a half, two months and all, subsides. As for the information and, you know, uh, uh, like uh, research what uh, information what we have to do. Let us assume it's going to be safe. However, if we have to run online classes, naturally it is important. 
I'll tell you what, how we are done online classes. For almost uh, 10 months. Yeah. More than 10 months we are done. During the campaign. First point is, teachers and parents should know one thing. Online classes and offline classes both are not safe. That we know. Now every parent got experience in that, right? A great teacher in the offline classes can't be a great teacher in the online class. Most important thing, what is needed in the online class is engagement. A child should be engaged. Second most important thing is he should be very interactive. Third thing is he should be attentive. Three things. These three things are important. Engagement. Interactive. And he should be attentive. So, if we teach the regular class, the class will be for one hour, one hour, ten minutes, one hour, twenty minutes sometimes. Sometimes we deliver very tough concepts in the class. Except for, for 40, 50, 60 minutes. We cannot do that in the regular class, in the regular online class. Online class cannot be continuous for such a long time. What we have done is, because attention span of a child in online classes is single digit, means 8 to 12 minutes. Most of them, 8 minutes. Attention span. I think children who are attended the online classes agree with me, right? Yes? Because so there's, there's a huge scope for distraction. The given whole universe world to him, right? The form of your web or internet, maybe your laptop or whatever it is. The very first thing is we are the first ones to change the way we deliver online classes. For example, every class lecture was divided into teaching capsules. I request all the parents, please be attentive and not on the mobile space. Please not on the mobiles. We have to help children to work up distraction that starts from us. Let us understand that. Yeah. So, what we have done is, we have redefined the whole lecture into teaching capsules. Means, our teacher delivered a small teaching capsule for 7 to 8 minutes. He'll stop for a couple of minutes and he'll ask questions like the children. Teachers have to, the children have to respond. We'll have one more supporting faculty, the supporting person who will check the videos, whether the children are active or not, whether the videos are on or, or not. If there is any technical issue, immediately call goes to the parent. Please make it active. So this way, this is one thing. Second thing is our lecture was starting with questions, a quiz. Our lecture started with a quiz. Children should come out of slumber, isn't it? Right? So, quiz, yesterday's class or last class or something. A quiz is interaction. A teaching capsule, again, interaction. Likewise, as much as possible, we have made teaching capsules and delivered online. The parent, this is not enough. This is not enough. Lecture in the class is not enough. After the class, what is that we have done? After the class, we have seen cases, you know, three hours class, four hours class, and shut finish. After that, nothing is there. That is that is a big mistake schools and colleges have done. Classes taking for three hours, four hours, or, or, or that, that's not enough. After the classes, child is away from us. Parents are not aware of this online stuff. There may be a lot of technical issues, bandwidth issues, attention problems of the child. Right? So our objective was this. How do we engage the children after the class? Right? So we started again the same mentorship. Our teacher and supporting person has to call every day five calls. Five calls to the parents. And ask them what are the issues they are facing today. Maybe technical or any issue from the child. Means the parent has a problem. We, we are there for them. That was done. Every day it was done by the same subject teacher or the mentor or some supporting person. Second, we have engaged the children in 
problem solving online problem solving means the child is given time he should try to work out and then we supported them through online we could do this because our class strength was small we have our class strength here is about 50 children in the online also we have made it 50 children only not we did not merge the classes like five sections 10 sections what others have done 500 children teachers have taught 1000 children teachers have taught in single zone there is only one class with 500 to 700 children that was system implemented by others that is wrong so our class strength whatever we had done in the physical class the children are with us same thing we try to implement with more manpower with more support right sir then evening evening they have surprise tests like call children ask questions we call the children to online and ask questions the child has to prepare for his interaction he is not missing any topic likewise exams conduction may be after conduction of exams online they should do error analysis means they should identify what mistakes they have done why they have done that should be posted to our team member if it is not posted call goes to parent the child did not post this and all our members phone members who are open to every parent such that if my team members are not performing or their lapses they should reach us and go we are going to fix the problem so we work round the clock and interact with the parents and, and children as much as possible we have ensured that we are engaging children not to miss their classes right so this was the thing we have done we are parent you ask me that right so these are things what we have done and very more are there yes but ultimately engaging the child is important we have done as much as possible we are also So here, now if I see the question is, when there is total lockdown, total lockdown, and the schools and colleges are closed, right? Same teachers were teaching. Now we have opened the schools, colleges since so many months, but still some children here and there are not ready to come to campuses. There are uh, around uh, how many sections we are running online? One section. One section we are running online for all the campuses. So few children, few parents, they have reservations of not attending the physical classes. So we have grouped up all the children across all the branches, and the program is going on in the course. But it is it doesn't help them much, right? So under that circumstance, only we have to have a common batch. Otherwise, previously same teachers, same section. So fine, I think I uh, I can uh, request all the team members. So we have one more thing in online classes. The number of students were same as of a class. It's not like everybody can join an online in a class where five students like that or not there. For we have fifty students in a classroom only, less a class size. So when they came back to the campus, they didn't have that much problem because they in online and like merging batches and teachers are different. And there was a question in one of the build up, right? So that was not the case. That was one. Second is one more thing that we have to make sure that uh, online classes misses some interaction between the students. So we came up with a concept called a concept driven learning. It is more or less. Like a uh, uh, like a debate, so we'll talk about a topic. We we'll may, I think, now Zoom has got a group facility, very beautiful, like your break break rooms. So we'll make the students the break rooms. They discuss about the topic in teams. Again, they'll come back as a as a as a teacher. I can go in each room and check what they are doing. Like this happening in the class. Here, some students. So this we have actually done, and proud to say, we were the first one to use Zoom for the fullest. Nobody used. Nobody used. So that was required because when like the technology is there, we are not using technology, and we are saying that okay, but the class may have a class day or there it is not online class. But the kids sleep. The kid will sleep. It is not like I am talking to you now like this. So I was talking to you like this. In the same manner that you do, maybe in between you of our mom and you of our dad will be talking, and kids will be playing. Not that much importance. We won't be listening to this much. That impact we understood as a team.
teacher. But you control the area of life. It is not in control. How to bring? 15 minute break, 8 minute break, 9 minute break, asking the student, talking the names. And I'm telling you my experience in the beginning when we started, there were some kids who made the recording on. The recording option All of the kids are now half engineers. Right? They did that. When we took the name, then we understood. So why we also evolved, but we evolved faster. You were the first one to do all this. So those were the few. Any other pair? Thank you, Mr. Yes, uh, thank you all, uh, the children and the parents of all of Thank you for the time. This Sunday I think this is great. And definitely my, my team is going to take over. We will introduce all our faculty here, their experience, their qualification, what is it that we do in defense, all this stuff. Uh, yes, and after that again, post this again, you have one more uh, event session. Please feel free. And most importantly, we want to hear from children, right? You want children to speak, uh, speak and uh, ask your queries because we are the people who knows most about what you want. Yeah, so you should come out and please ask questions and help us to you know, become better. All right, thank you all. Yes, I just take some time uh, to introduce my one my team members. Uh, I'll introduce one by one. Uh, very first person, uh, Nagarajan sir, is a physics faculty. He worked in many corporate colleges. He's got a very vast experience and a very interesting thing. Uh, many students like his classes, and he makes the class very interactive. And he's uh, you know he passed out from IIT moment, and in fact he's my super senior. And a best friend of mine as well. Thank you, thank you so much. And next, we have got one more faculty, Ambala Vakaneshwar, who is a chemistry faculty. He also worked in many corporate colleges. You name it, he's there in that. So he has got that vast experience in chemistry. And I know because this board is going to be the common for all the faculty because each and every student, you know, you hear faculty, this could now, but a thousand students to go to the there are many students who are the favorite, you know, he's a favorite teacher for them. And he's a very excellent chemistry faculty. And he's the one who is supporting the students. And in fact, all of them, all of them are supporting the students even after, you know, they're working hours. Right? Thank you so much, Thank you. And he's a chemistry, a physics faculty, Harish sir. And he has got a great, 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 uh, I shouldn't be saying that, but yet, great fan following the students because he connects with the students so fast. Students tell a fast to connect with it and he does play with the students in the ground and of course students play with him in the classroom. Uh, with the questions I came to say. The great physics faculty and he's been with us from quite long time, uh, 2016 onwards. We started as college in 2015. Uh, Ajay is a chemistry faculty and he also has got a very good, you know, back following the students. Uh, students enjoy this class a lot and he also worked in many corporate colleges and has got a very vast experience and he makes the class so light and so interactive. That's a good thing. Thank you, thank you so much, Ajay sir. And Abdi Reddy sir, is a chemistry faculty. He's a graduate from, uh, from uh, NIT or anything. He's a very good faculty in working for the students even after the kids, you know, regular time. Yeah, he also has got very vast experience. He worked in many corporate colleges. In fact, every faculty who is sitting here worked in many corporate colleges. And most of them are from IITs, the NITs. And even if they are not from, yes, they meet trying the students from that. And if their students are there in the NITs and IIT. Thank you so much, Dr. And Kodara, sir, is a physics faculty. And, you know, I personally have seen, you know, going to the class, how the students enjoy this class. And he also has got a very good experience, a very good experience. And more importantly, he himself has got a very good records in his academy. Thank you so much for being with us. 
and Vijay Babu sir is a deep faculty. He also takes care of the students. And for me, if you have any questions, are we there? You also work in many corporate colleges. You also have got a very vast experience. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vijay Babu sir. And Nagishwar sir. Chemistry faculty. Uh, I'm not mentioning the number of years of experience, but yet each one of them has got a very good experience. That basically tells you know, like you know, how to interact with the students and all that, how to choose the question. And is the one person who interacts with the students so fastly and he connects with the students so well. And it is a very good player, in fact, a and a very vast experience and all that. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Senior uh, Sir, last faculty. Very good faculty, understand the students so well, let me tell you. What about my heart, I'm telling you, with not only experience, he understands the students so well. He understands the students so well and he takes a lot of effort in the class to explain the sir. Lot of effort. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. He also works in many colleges, very vast experience and all that. And that is your sir, he's also a vast faculty. And I know him very well. And he also connects with the students so well and is the Helping the students continuously is working with excellence from past almost five years. This is the fifth academic year. And very supportive to the students and to the management. Thank you, thank you so much. Not to mention much, but yes, Rizwan sir is a <coughs> graduate from IIT Bharatpur and he has got many academic records. But yet, the students like to speak, you know, he's a good faculty. He explains, he makes the class so interactive and students enjoy this class a lot. And of course, the students will be coming in and you can interact with the students and ask the questions. <coughs> thank you, sir. Thank you so much for being here. And Avila, sir, he is also a physics faculty with a great experience working in many government colleges. And apart from all that, he's a very good sports person. And I personally know how much the students like his class. He has got his own fan base and all that. But he makes the concept so interesting and it helps the students immensely. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And we have got our language faculty, and this is a Sanskrit faculty, Praveen, sir. The great, 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 great experience. And is a great artist, I should say, and a great dancer, great singer. And he makes the class so interesting, so much so interesting. And he has got a great and great experience in that. Right? Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And our English faculty, Sinva sir, and he is working with us from so many years. Many, many records, uh, not to mention because many students are scoring highest in English and all that. You know, their subjects are the ones who is helping the student to you know, get the highest percentage and all that. He is helping the students around the class. That's not a big deal because everyone is positive here and helping the students. Like, you know, if my son is here, how I react, the same way we react. Right? So here's one sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Paul, sir, is a French faculty. And he has got great experience and he mingles with the students so fast. And of course, he is the one who helps the students to gain more percentage in board exams. Right? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now, uh, our center it. Jaira is going to take over the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. <coughs> good afternoon, children. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, parents. Uh, thank you very much for being with us uh, almost on two hours patiently. First of all, uh, uh, I appreciate uh, all of the parents to be a part of this uh, program. The reason is uh, parents have started researching where they have to start. Uh, for the children's education after 10th. I really appreciate only few of the students only have such type of mind setup that uh, what type of education we can give to my uh, children. How my child uh, education and mind setup synchronize with the uh, colleges. So I really appreciate each and everyone who are present over here that what best education I can give to my children. So your research has started from here. Definitely, uh, whatever the session has happened over here, you could understand whatever the measures we are taking. So please, I appreciate, please, uh, we can appreciate our uh, 
our parents who are taking uh, such a wonderful step. Uh, and I forgot, first of all, related a happy new year all. Before I start, uh, yesterday I spoke with some of the children. Um, I spoke with them. Uh, what is uh, what was your 2022 resolution? Children, have you made any resolutions of 2022? What's your name? Yeah, same thing. I spoke with some of uh, the students, you know, students were telling such a way that uh, one student raised the hand and said, uh, I won't sleep in my class. 2020, he said, I won't sleep in my class. We really appreciate it. One student said that um, I wanted to make my parents proud. No complaints from this year. One student said that I will write the notes regularly. She could understand that. Students were motivated such a way that whatever the mistakes they have done, they wanted to come out of all. We are there to encourage the people. So different, different uh, uh, people, different mindset. Uh, so they wanted to, I want, one student said that I want to give respect to the elders. It won't previously. Now he's telling me I want to give respect to the elders. Such a wonderful, they, they really agree that and we really appreciate their honesty. So I, I request all the children who are here, please take one resolution. What is the best you can give present to your parents? Isn't it? The best part I can say, I can, I can tell you a real ex experience that uh, how we are going to make your parents proud, that should be a blessing point for you. Do you agree with me? Hello, students, do you agree with me? Parents proud is a part of that. That's all. You will, you will get a, a blessing like anything. So, uh, proudly I can uh, announce, uh, this year we got uh, CBC 11th and 12th affiliation. So, we, are, we have admissions that started for 11th and 12th grade of affiliation. CBC 11th and 12th grade, you know that almost all, uh, uh, 154 countries, almost all, almost all, the globe, you can see CBC is part of that. CBC curriculum is a national wise curriculum, you know that. And uh, the difference between IP and uh, uh, CBSC is uh, more practical knowledge you can find in CBSC. More practical, less pressure, because you have only one board examination for the senior two years. There will be no first year board examinations. Secondly, you have board examinations. Less pressure, more practical knowledge more uh, reaching to the students and uh, you, you can find uh, something different in uh, CBSC. So the students who are interested towards CBSC you can approach us, nothing wrong. So we can tell about the importance of CBSC. We are going to start with the pure, C, pure MPC, MPC with the uh, IAT and um, biology, pure BIPC and BIPC with the NEET and we have MBIPC course, the students who are interested in both mathematics and biology they can write NEET as well as advanced uh, mains, uh, that is IIT coaching, they can go through those interested with the different, different uh, fourth option languages. The students who can opt fourth option as a physical education, course practices, computer class science and mathematics also, one of the fourth option, biology also they can opt one of the fourth option, according to the, according to the students' uh, interest. Now, recent scenario, you can observe that, um, some students are interested to prepare for SAT. Some students are interested to go for abroad. So for them, it is a wonderful platform to educate this so they can prepare. Really, we are interested for that one. So we have we have a MEC background, and we know that in IT also we have started last year, uh, 20, 21 onwards, the MEC with the CA Foundation. And the same thing we continue in the uh, CBSC also, CBSC we have uh, Thomas, the CA Foundation, it includes uh, accountancy, business studies and economics with English as the fourth uh, common core subject, as well as uh, some uh, different uh, fourth option. Fourth option is you can go for mathematics, uh, computer science, 
as information practice, education, something like that, something different, uh, a globe. And also, I can tell you, this CBSC curriculum is almost uh, designed by all national wide syllabus. All types of IELTS examinations and need for need syllabus and any SRM, any VIT, whatever the national wide examinations examinations connected with. The students who are interested, definitely they can go through, right? So. Uh, uh, let me go through once again. I can go through a little bit about. Uh, please give me. Can you give me five minutes? Please, I'll stop. I can understand the way the parents are sitting over there from the last uh, few hours. Yeah. Yeah. So some of the parents have fired about the uh, need program, isn't it? Need program is uh, one of the major program for our institution here. Need program, you know that the completion of the new program is entirely different and the preparation is entirely different. And uh, I can tell you the need program is connected with the NCID, CBC, most of them. Even though the students are in IPE, the program started in the month of June. And every day, SAR said, every day, we are, every week, we have examinations. That is a Thursday we have NCA examinations as well as a need uh, exam. Thursday, why we are getting NCA examination means the NCA book almost from the last five years, if you can go through in biology, almost all out of 90, you know, the first of all examination pattern, the marks are almost at the 7.3 and uh, 180 questions will be given. 184, 720 for correct answer, four marks, wrong answer, minus one. That means finished, attempted wrong, minus five. Five will go and uh, not attempted zero. And biology, botany, and geology. Botany is 45 questions, geology is 45 questions, and physics is 45, chemistry is 45. Almost all 180 questions, they have completed within three hours. The practice then required is very much important. Because of that, uh, from the last five years, Years analysis we pay. Most of the questions are only from uh, uh, most of the questions are from NCI. Biology if you pay. Biology that in the year 2070, 82 questions came from only NCI. 82 questions. And chemistry almost 33 questions. If you go through all the 20, 2017, 18, 19, 20, recently this 21 also, out of 180 questions. 120 to 135 questions between only from NCIT. That is the reason we are very much concentrated towards NCIT examinations and conducting on Thursday. Every Thursday, the student will have NCIT examination. This will make uh, the practice of the uh, examination and uh, this will give you a lot of impact on the student's uh, main examinations. Our teachers are there after the NCIT examinations. And after Sunday's examination, we will have our error analysis and also homework part. We can take care of that part. And whatever the uh, medical interest examinations are there, accordingly, we are, will give main, main highest part is need. Whatever the, if the student is preparing for need, um, almost all the examinations will come for. So that exact conduction of the examinations of practice for need, for IIT, we can tell you 100 questions, are there, but here 180 questions were there for biology. So more emphasis will be given on biology. Biology contains 90 questions. And you know that out of 90, if the student is getting trying to get 300 plus, definitely they'll get there. Last year, before last year, if we can go through, 494 was the last kind of mark to get in the private colleges. So 500. 142 is the mark to get in the So our our uh, part with what we can put is uh, we are going to try them to get the best mark more than 600 plus. We can we can try them how to attempt the question, how to select the questions, and how the student can go through start the question. See, examination is in a, in the main concrete examinations having a negative marking. It's not important for it's not for. Writing the question is not answer. It is negative marking examination. First of all, we are trying them how to select the questions. Selection of the questions were very important. Biology, what are the questions they have to select first? Botany, geology. Then uh, it goes into the chemistry. How we can select the questions? 
and uh, physics. So the way that we can train from the starting of the examinations and we can go through accordingly. The syllabus for the two years syllabus will complete. If we start in the month of, suppose if we take 2022, start of June is a starting day of uh, 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 biology. So 24 in the month of uh, September or maybe by maximum, uh, August by maximum section will come to syllabus. September onwards, cumulative examinations as well as grand exam, grand examinations in start. Don't think that there is no separation and we can give the emphasis on the students who are really aspiring towards the class, getting the, I feel that, really a personal feel that. Because in my family, there are two what doctors are there. We are encouraging the students who are having a serving heart, first of all. That should compassionate heart. Hard working nature. Need students, lot of hard working nature is there. More time to spend on study part, reading and reading, reading, remember this. So we encourage the students most of the time to how to be a part of uh, these examinations, how they can spend more time on it. Because IIT preparation is different and the need preparation is different. The students who are having more need preference, the students should have, first of all, more hardworking nature is required. Definitely, we are making them to learn this type of practice. Because in three hours, completion of one uh, questions is not, involved, not a uh, simple task. All the slides and uh, all the things can be explained properly. And after completion of the syllabus, we have grand test examinations. The completion of uh, it will be completed in the month of May or June. Last time it was the September 12th the examination. Till fall, September 12th, we have given the exam. We have uh, uh, we have coached them such a way that uh, to to what the best they can do. Even though they are in different uh, uh, places, we have tried them that thing. That means, in what intention the student has joined here? Definitely, we will encourage them to reach the goal. So, more particularly, if you wanted to go for meet them, examinations, and definitely I can explain each and every part. But uh, in every week, there will be two examinations, which can be as well as Sunday. Two examinations will give, and uh, accordingly, the paper discussion and the uh, general analysis and the question of class and doubts, and each and every part, and we we'll can go through recording. Any doubts, please, according to the state? Any doubts? Any doubts? Yeah, we have, we have the faculty is there, biology faculty is there, and uh, physics faculty uh, who are taking the class. Uh, uh, after this, you can meet, madam. Some of the, some of the teachers went out, so you can meet the faculty. They can uh, tell uh, uh, depthfully whatever it is required. Right? So, according to the curriculum and program, we'll explain everything, right? So, how many of them are there first time going to join the hostel? You are, you are there experience for the first time in the hostel? You're all the hostel, right? Anybody is uh, already joined the hostel? No one is. Right, you are already hostel previously, right? You have a lot of experience in there, right? You're all the hostel life. Good, right? What do you learn in the hostel life?
Some questions to our teachers, our team members are there. So we can ask anything, please. Question and answers. Yeah, then my team. Thank you, our friends.
has to get digital stress every year they have no exam. They have to complete. But here, coming to CBSE, they will have only one exam after two years. That the second year only should have examination. And second year syllabus, they will get the second year examination based on only second year syllabus. There will be no first year syllabus. But the, almost all the topics connected with the first year. That is continuation. Continuation. Syllabus is only second year examination, second year syllabus only. But if the student is not learning, not studying properly for skills, they cannot be learning for this. Because these are all the continuation topics. Because the uh, again, there are no functions are there. there. Functions is not very studied for part of skills. That will continue the second. Property. There are some basics we can learn like first year. And uh, that will continue the second. Here is the number three. Only second part. You know that you will be first year. So if the student can understand what's the they can only get one second. So the learning part, if the next expression, this expression is going to be now, we have to do more examination. But here we can get all more examination, practical examination. But less pressure, more practical knowledge, more relative, and the easier uh, Practical uh, knowledge is more useful. Less teaching. Uh, more practical knowledge we can go to So remaining is actually the same, there's no change in that. Syllabus uh, and remaining as one state, but it's great for you to be as to get into pressure to complete the first year and everything else. But here is a they can go through only second year, only second year the same time. And coming to um tiles. The tiles, the spreads are there in the hostel life. You can start the study of the after completion of four times, six o'clock will be started. Six o'clock, ten o'clock, we can run, we can have study of the night radio with the uh, senior post exercise this day after the night night and test us there. Up to an hour exercise and air visual exams will present. There we can engage more towards self share, whatever the class is happening all the time. The course clarification, answer clarification, we give in the work sessions with the other course negatives. And the night time, we are entering the spread to study with their own. We are going to provide you assignments based on the duration that is the topic. The teacher will present your day and the student has to complete it. Once a friend and we will present some of the courses. Every day they will get 10 courses to have the next time. So, I will be working with you. Based on the day's teaching, we will get assignment. After completion of the day, 6 to 9, will be everything, 9 to 9, will we'll complete the questions so that the, the observation of the teachers, they can go through any doubts they have next to day, they can be different. That is a nice study of this. Every day, what it is not that it is not a big task. Every day, the students can become possible to take work, they'll complete the course. They have completed problems. And every day, whatever the work we have behind, they completed the critical will get not completed. It's not possible. So Monday to uh, Saturday, all the services completed based on that uh, 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 Friday, based on that we have uh, Sunday examinations, immediately the marks will be delivered and the analysis will be So days follows also the days follows also. The days follows also, so we will send assignments and online. Students can prepare and they can come with the doubts that the next day if you do. That means from morning to night, 10 o'clock, uh, the different different intervals of the day, academics will run. That day, what they have to complete the application of CDA interest, the student interest, and the There is a distribution between the other and the other side of the country. We have a extension of the student is there, and entire different campus. So, first standard for the third class, CBC school is different, and the IPE, that is the limited government, is different campus. 
different study hours, different teachers, entirely different part. The learning process mindset of previous students is different than academic. Everything is different, different. The study is also kind of different. Any other place? Yes, sir. Like to ask any more? Depends on the uh, groups. Every day, if you can go through, we are trying to come to the boss to load in this part. We are trying to further. Depends on the situation. How does this is this year? This year. Yeah. It's not so easy. It's not like our business or the city. They provide our transport and delivery. One person can do something. Any other place? Any other place? Any other place? Any other place? No, no, no. Sir, would you like to say anything? Yeah, please finally, I mean, you know. uh, we have. I think you see um, campus is different, and I think campus is different. Campus? 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 Yes, we will teach that. It is not. 